Welcome! In this pattern tutorial, we're making this gorgeous Muskoka sock mitten using an Addi Pro knitting machine NG crochet hook. The materials I'm using today are a diamond alpaca and four weight yarn in cream and red, Patton's classic wool, I'll be using two strands of that at a time, as well as my scissors, G crochet hook, and of course, darning needles. Let's dive right in! We're going to start on the Addi Pro with the cuff. We'll begin by using some waste yarn to cast on. You can do about four or six rows. This is done just to stabilize the project. We'll cast on by putting the yarn on the first black hook, then weaving the yarn in and out of every other hook until we complete one full rotation. Now put the yarn into the yarn feeder and continue knitting for about four to six rows. Now we'll cast off the waste yarn and add our first color of project yarn, which is cream. We'll be knitting six rows of cream. Now let's cut our cream yarn and add in four rows of red. So we'll put that in the center, add our red yarn, close the door and four rows of red. At this point we want our rows to stay together so we're going to tie the red and the cream yarn together. Nice and gentle, just a good knot there so it doesn't come apart, making sure your stitches are consistent and we'll complete our four rows of red. Then we'll switch back to the cream yarn. We're gonna cut that so we're not stuck with a lot of yarn here. And we're gonna add in cream again, and we'll do 30 rows of cream. Now this cuff is 40 rows in total, so we did six of cream, four of red, and we're doing the 30 rows of cream again so that the cream will be on the inside of the cuff and the stripe will be on the outside. There, we're done our 30 rows of cream and now we're going to switch back to our waste yarn. Now our cuff is stabilized with the waste yarn and we're going to cast off. move our Addi Pro aside and stretch out our piece so that all the stitches are nice and consistent. At this point we'll fold our cuff. So we're going to fold the cuff with the right side facing out and match up where the start of the rows begin. You can also cut off some of this extra yarn too if you have some. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now let's get into the fun crochet part. So grab your G hook and your Patton's Classic Wool Worsted Weight Yarn. I'm going to use two strands of the Patton's yarn. And we'll start with a slip knot. Now insert your hook in the first stitch to the left of the start and the end of the yarn ends where we started and ended our row and hook on the slip knot give it a little tighten and pull it through then we're going to chain one now we're going to half double slip stitch in each of the top and bottom row of the cuff so yarn over insert your hook in the top and bottom hook of the cuff yarn over and pull through all the loops so that's our half double crochet slip stitch and we'll repeat this. So yarn over, insert in the bottom and the top of the cuff, yarn over and pull through all of the loops. There should be five loops in total that you have to pull through. Now yarn over and do the next stitch. So insert in the bottom and the top of the crochet starting and end rows pull through all five loops. 
This is to bind the starting and the ending row of the cuff together as well as create a foundation row for our crochet mitten. Great! Now continue this and I'll meet you on the other side. Now we're grabbing our last stitch in this row and then we're going to slip stitch our mitten foundation row together. Fantastic! I always like to double check just to make sure I didn't miss any stitches. Since we were using the Addy Pro, there should be 22 stitches around. And it looks like we have all our stitches and we can now remove our waist yarn. What we are left with is a beautiful looking cuff with a foundation row of crochet. Now we'll pick up where we left off and insert our hook in our loop, doing a full half double crochet around so you will want to chain two. And if you'll notice here, what we're going to do is work from bottom up where the seam is where the thumb lands. So we're going to insert our hook and half double crochet around in all 22 stitches for two rows. But if your hands are much bigger, you might want to add another row. So continue half double crocheting and I'll meet you on the other side. And when we come to meet our first stitch, you're going to slip stitch into the top loop of the starting chain. Then we'll chain two and do another row of half double crochet. I'll meet you again at the end of this row. Once again, when you get to the end of the row, slip stitch into the top loop of the starting chain. And chain two. In our third row, we're going to begin our increase to make room for the expansion of where your palm gets wider for your thumb. So to increase, we're going to insert our hook in the next stitch from the chain and put two half double crochets into the same stitch. Then continue with just one half double crochet in each stitch until you get to just one stitch before the starting chain. Now we're one stitch before the starting chain and we want to finish with 24 stitches in this row. So, so far we have 22 stitches and in our last stitch, we're gonna half double crochet twice in the same stitch, which will bring us up to 24 stitches for this row. Great, and now we're going to chain two and do an increasing row again. And then we'll do one half double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side of this row. We're on stitch 24 and then we'll do stitch number 25 and 26 in the same stitch before we join at the top of the chain. Great! Now we'll chain two and repeat another row of increase. So two half double crochets in the same stitch and then one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around and I'll meet you on the other side again. and two half double crochets at the end of this row. And then we should, before we join count, we should have about 28 stitches now. 
And once we have 28, then go ahead and join to the top chain of this first stitch and slip stitch, then chain two. Now we're gonna do one more increasing row where we're gonna do two half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get to the stitch before the chain. Then we'll do two half double crochet and join. So I will meet you on the other end of this row. And two half double crochets in the same last stitch. Then we're gonna join to the top of the chain. We should have 30 stitches all the way around now. this point you can see that the pattern is increasing for our thumb. And our next step will be to join here and here. So insert your hook back into the loop and slip stitch four stitches across. Stitch, take up the loop, count two, four, six, eight, insert on the ninth loop, uh, stitch, pull the loop through, chain two, and then half double crochet in the next stitch skipping these eight stitches, which is where the thumb will un end up being. So, one, two, and you're going to half double crochet X number of stitches all the way around until you come to meet this stitch over here. So look, I'll meet you on that side. begin our half double crochet decrease so at the top chop of the at the top of the chain two we're going to half double crochet once half double crochet in the next one half double crochet in the next one then we're going to half double crochet together two stitches and then we're going to repeat that so one half double crochet in the next stitch another half double crochet in the next stitch and another half double crochet in the next stitch then half double crochet together. And we'll continue this until the end of this row. And now you'll probably end up with finishing with a half double crochet at the end of the row. And we'll join at the top of the chain, chain two, and begin another decrease. So we'll half double crochet in the first stitch half double crochet in the next stitch, then half double crochet join together, and then in the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet, half double crochet, and then in, we're going to do a half double crochet together. And we'll continue this until the end of this row.
now we'll do one more half double crochet and join chain two and in this row we're going to half double crochet and then half double crochet together so we're going to alternate that every so half double crochet and then in the next one half double crochet together half double crochet and half double crochet together and we'll complete the row like this one last half double crochet for this row and join now you can fasten off your stitch here and leave enough yarn to weave in your ends and close the hole at the top Now you'll see all that's left to do is crochet our thumb. So finish up here by cutting off your end, getting your darning needle, cinching the hole shut, and weaving in the ends. And we'll weave this in from the inside. Now grab your crochet hook and let's finish up the thumb. Okay, so now we're going to create a connection to our thumb. We have eight stitches around and we're going to insert it at the join. slip knot onto it. You can weave in those ends from the inside later on and join it. Now make that nice and snug. We're going to chain two and now we're going to half double crochet all the way around all eight stitches to form the base of the thumb. Join to the top of the chain two, then chain two. And crochet one half double crochet in each of the previous half double crochets all the way around, joining just like we did in the last row. our eighth stitch and now we'll join and chain two and do another row for our thumb so one half double crochet all the way around in every stitch
and we'll do our eighth stitch for this row join and chain two now depending how long your fingers are we're going to do about one or two more rows for the thumb so we'll start our next row and then we'll check the length with our hand This is looking fabulous. So we're gonna check the length of our thumb and they could use one more row. So we're gonna add another row to our thumb and then we'll probably cast off. At this point, when you know it's long enough, your last row can just be a half double crochet join of every two stitches and then you can cinch the top, top hole shut with your remaining tail yarn. So once you join, there's very, very little yarn that you have to worry about. I mean, there's a very little hole that you have to worry about. You just snip it and cinch this shut. Don't forget to make a pair and don't forget to hit the like, comment, or subscribe button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks and have a healthy, safe, and happy handmaking life.